Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, let's take a look at a torque problem. Uh, let's say that we have a building and the building has a beam coming out of it and there is a bolt that is attaching the uh, beam to the building. And we want to know what the torque is about that bolt. So let's make it even a little more complicated. Let's have a man stand out at the end of this beam and let's figure out what the torque is. So we know what's happening here, right? The weight of the man is pushing down on the beam, trying to rotate that beam downwards. Uh, the weight of the beam itself is pushing downwards and both of those are adding up to a torque on that bolt. Okay. Let's give some variables here. So the length of the beam, uh, let's say that is, uh, let's use my numbers here, 3.8 meters. Uh, the mass of the beam is 440 kilograms. And the mass of the man is 74 kilograms. Okay, and the question is, what is the net torque on that bolt? Okay, well, we know a little bit about torque, right? Torque is equal to force times lever arm. In this case, there are two forces at work. There is the mass of the man times G going down, but there is also the mass of the beam times G going down. Now, both of those forces are at right angles to our horizontal beam and so the lever arm just becomes either L for the man or L over two for the beam because we can think of all the mass of the beam being concentrated at the center of mass, which is of course halfway. All right, so what's the net torque here? The net torque is going to be M of the man times G times its lever arm, which is L, and we're going to add M of the beam times G times its lever arm, which is L over two. And the whole thing is stationary, right? So we're not worrying about any dynamical motion here. And in fact, we just want to calculate the torque exerted by the bolt. What is the torque exerted by the bolt? It is trying to hold the thing up, so it is clockwise, so it's a positive number. So that's why we made all these things positive. Okay, so let's see. We can pull out a G. We can even pull out an L. And we're left with M for the man plus M for the beam over two. And now we have all those numbers and so we can just plug them in. So M for the beam was 440. Divide that by two, we get 220. We're gonna add the mass of the man, which is 74. And now we're gonna multiply that whole thing by the length, which we said was 3.8. And we're gonna multiply by gravity, which is 9.8. And we get 1.09 times 10 to the four. And remember the units of torque are what? Well, it's force, which is newtons, times lever arm, which is meters. Okay. Hopefully that's clear. Uh, if not, come look for me in my office. Cheers.